Put, put that camera down while I'm walking. So people know what I'm doing if you do that. Yeah. I'm one of the lucky ones, because now and again I might get like a tenner for a blowjob to spend. But I'm one of the lucky ones, babe. A lot of these girls are at a bad time. A really bad time. Shield Road, it's mad. It's like there's no laws around there. All so the kids are selling drugs. 13. It's sexy, like some of the girls give it away for four quid. She was in the battle for the business, because they're desperate to get crack. When you're a heroin addict, you'll give unprotected sex for the sake of £10 for a bag of brown. I got raped and battered with a baseball bat. Knocked all my teeth out with a baseball bat. It was a girl made and pulled like streets away down the back alleyways in a wheelie bin. It's not good. Don't do it. Stay away from Shield Road. Gangs are allowed to out on a stag or whatever. They come down here and there's like five lined up for 25 quid, you know, that's a five for each, isn't it? You know? I'm not a pimp. I have nothing to do with any of their money. They just buy me drinks, food. They don't pay me. I just watch the back, to be honest with you. Make sure they, uh, they don't get no, don't invite the punters. He's a good lad, he's a good lad. He's loyal, he's, you know what I mean, he's staunch. He doesn't just look after one girl, he looks after every girl on this road. Do you know what I mean? Fuck off now, cos I'm not going to be on the dirty little tramp. No. <laughs> she, she, did, she did money. Yeah, yeah. And she, got she left. She left. No service? No service. No, okay. Can you go away, please? Why is he standing there still? Must want a bit more, must he? Go on, kid. What's uh, Lady Blunt to do? Just tell him she's done a business, basically. Come on now, game over, leave her alone. Right, I'm going, team, I'm going to score. All the punters try to get the business for as cheaply as they can. You know, to offer somebody five pounds for sex, damn right, bloody insulting, isn't it? I feel sorry for the yeah. girl on that road. That was me last year. I'll show you another photo. Better. That was about yeah a year ago right. to now. Sass 14 there, my Sass 6 now, we're like Skeletor. What's what happened in that year to make you crack? Got yeah. cocaine. I could be out there and it'd take me hours to get 50 quid. It'd take me hours. Some of the immigrants that come over from Serbia, Croatia, because they're a third world country, they mm. get peanuts in it. So a fiver to them, five pounds. That's like two weeks wages for them, isn't it? Some, some countries, it's a month's wage. So they, they brought the price down. So how can you support the rabbit on five pounds and ten pounds? He'd have to go out about 50 times. But them girls are lower than the price for you girls, are you? Underestimating us. You know, when I first seen the foreigners, they're absolute stunners. But the uh, local girls, sometimes I've got to lend them your teeth. <laughs> you know? I'll lend you my teeth and you give me a suck. No, you're right. Because you've got them. You know, you've got about two teeth in the head. Well, luckily, I've got a mate. How long have you known each other? A week. Is quite a new relationship here? Yeah. Not, Not sexual. sexual. Okay. 
She's now well, your sister. Yeah. You know. It's okay for men. They can go and graft and rob shops and whatever. Us women, we've got to go and sell our bodies for our hobby. It's horrible. I'm gonna go and meet someone. Can I come back Sorry? in a bit? Can I come back in a bit? Because I'm gonna meet someone now. Okay. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. No, I'm not waiting for you. We loved each other and then... I was wanting to work all the time and I was wanting to smoke all the time. He was just wanting... He, he didn't want me going out, he wanted me staying in. But I'm too selfish, I'd been thinking about him. I was thinking about me happy. It makes me repulsively sick. The thought that I'm in bed with another man knowing that he was at home waiting. Knocks me sick. The majority of the times I, I wouldn't go home. I'd go missing just because I couldn't look at him in the face. No, I'd just slept with another man. No way. She was a good girl when I met her. She wasn't a mad druggie like she is now. But the people she's hanging around with, it's only going to go one way with her and she's going to end up dead. I'm not injecting at all. Check my arms. I done it once and that was it. I didn't like it, I don't like needles. I never did it again. Good. I'm not with anybody else. That Jack. I don't have sex with him. I don't want to kill him, but I'd rather be your friend. I'd rather have you in my life as a friend than not at all. You might as well just go. I don't, want, I don't want to be arguing with you that tonight. I feel sorry for her. Dude, she's got no one. She's got no friends either. Everyone seems to dislike her. I'm the only person who, who's ever helped her, who's ever given a fuck about the kid. Chill road, oh, it's really, it's a lovely road. With normal human beings and children walk down every day and children take the bus stop to get to school. But unfortunately, every minute of the day, you'll always find one lady on there, and we are ladies. Unfortunately, we're at a bad, bad, degrading stage of our lives. I love every individual girl on that road deep down in my heart because I know that they're out there and they're paining themselves to do what they're doing. But they're not paining themselves no fucking more than me. Do you know what I mean? I've given an unprotected blowjob without a condom on and for the sake of £10 to get me my first stone of a night. I was, like, shaking. I was fucking trembling. And after I just got my clothes and just ran at the door and I literally slammed the bottom door on me. I thought I was going, but I wasn't. So he just got every hand in trying to push me back down and see if you say, well, I'm going to keep it here now. You know what I mean? So can I come out? I'm quite fucking mad. I think his name's Jason. I'm not going to say but I'm not really sure. Half eleven. Jason, I'm not going to say but he's done it to another girl as well. That's it. All right, then. Thank you very much. See you later, girlie. Thank you. Did the shooting that was there last? Was it two weeks ago? Have much impact on business? Are you around here? Yeah, right opposite the van. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, did you hear that? I didn't know. Slots of sirens tonight. It was just the ambulance. <laughs> They put me in the park and kept grabbing me and trying to choke me and they wouldn't let me go. Like, they were trying to style me. And then I tried to run away and they come up at the, at the side of me and full on punched me in the face and cracked my eye socket. It could have been worse, I could have been killed or anything. Have you been to the police? No. 
it's happened to me in the past and I don't think they'll believe me, so I don't want to get called a grass. I haven't seen Natalie now for about a week. She, um, she's mixing with, the ro with bad wrong ones, like people who are injecting, you know, and I've got to distance myself from it. That's not my cup of tea, people like that. And that's really, you know, it's heartbreaking, mate. Heartbreaking. And now the, the people she's hanging around with, they're just what's known as rinsing her. And she's paying for their habits. How are you managing to get money at the minute? It's still working. She's on the game. She's got to make money. Where would you rather? I'll get in the car. It, when you, you, are you going to get back out of the car? Will you be killed? You, you know. That's the place now I'm working from. How I can take punters back to there, I don't, I don't know how. Sleeping on a dirty floor with mice. Obviously, at a lower prices to get them to drag them there. Am I right, you ladies? I have to go out every single night and pay for not just my habit, someone else's habit. I don't know if or when it'll, I'll change. I wish Liam loved me, but I mean, that's a special thinking. She's gone deep. If it was down to me, I'd kidnap her and lock her in until she stopped taking drugs, you know? I need to do something. But I can't just let this go on. Nat! Come here! Come and speak to me for a minute. To say thank you. Come and speak to me for a minute. You will? No. You will not? No. Doesn't care about you. People just want you for your money. It's sad to stop taking drugs now. You wouldn't. Have you you wouldn't. I would. You need help with drugs, you need help with the people. Come back to Jack, don't give him his money to inject. I'm not going back there. I've heard all this before. You're doing nothing. You're being shielded over for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I ever come here, to be honest. I no longer want to be here. I'm not having someone controlling me anymore. I can't remember. How, how to be respected, how to be treated normal. I, I can't remember the last time someone opened their arms and gave me a hug and told me I think it was going to be OK. I can't remember anything like that. <laughs> the only thing I get is a man... The only, time, the only time someone opens their arms to me is when a man's dragging me on a bed <laughs> and wanting sex, pinning me down. It's not mental torture, it's also physical. I can't remember the last time someone was going to tell me everything's going to be OK. Because I know it's not. I have a habit. And it's not OK. I have another normal life for the past year. Normal to me is getting up, getting dressed and going to have sex with different men day in, day out. That's my normal life. <laughs> I 
rehabilitation. So that's what I'd love to do. I never touch a drug. I'd love to wake up tomorrow. And there's my mum knocking at the door to give me a big hug, asking me to come home, tell me everything's OK, I don't need to do this anymore. I hate men, I like I wouldn't have a relationship with that. I've enjoyed sex for years. <laughs> Boyfriend? No. I'd rather have a woman than a man. Uh, okay. Oh. So you're a lesbian? No, I'm greasy. How often do you want to park here? When I need to. But I'll rob them if I can, I'll be honest with you. Would you? Yeah. I'm honest. <laughs> Why? I suppose it's a bad thing, really, because I'm looking over my shoulder all the time, but if I don't have to look at my mouth or look at my legs, I'm going to do it. Obviously, the men are coming and asking for cheaper money, and um, we're saying no, then other girls are going and doing it, do you know what I mean? Some girls done it for eight pounds, anal and everything. <sighs> I've had to give a blue job off for a tenner, because I've been rattling for the heroin. Some days it's hard to even make 60 quid, you know what I mean? I robbed a punter last night for £40. And then I've just been robbed by a working girl, so it's karma, isn't it? Karma come and bite you in the ass, babe. I give the girl the money to go to school for me, she never come back. See, like, on this road, yeah, there's all the girls, they're all stabbing each other in the back. You prioritise and you drug. Yeah, it, it comes first. It comes before everything. And you ruin everyone's life, not just your family. And all crack cocaine does is deteriorate your body something ruthlessly. My yeah, it's you for coming out. Deteriorated. Two <laughs> snap last night, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, buddy. You all right? Yeah. Do you want a drink? I'm treating myself to impair shoes. Yeah, but lovely. I wouldn't spend the money on crack or heroin. You're going to smoke for yourself instead. It was a force. I got myself into a hostel. And I can't get in drug counselling. I'm going to be in rehab. That's really good. I'm actually getting bored of crack now. Then it's in shit day in the house. Yeah. Is that what's made you want to go to rehab? Yeah, because I want to prove to a certain person that I can do it. Yeah. Well, we know you can do it. You're a strong woman. Yeah. Prayed for the first time today. Did you? That's really amazing. What did you pray about? Prayed this morning, then I'd get my life back on track. <gasps> Do me a favour, please, if you could. Say a prayer for you, yeah? Yeah, please. God, I pray you'd bless this woman this week. Pray you'd help her get into rehab and help her do everything she wants to do in life and be free from all the things that are holding her back. Amen. Amen. Love you. Love you too. Take care. I've been thinking of you this week. See you later. See you later. Bye. 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 I'm good, Jim. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully, settle down okay, with a job. What do you fancy doing as a job? Well, I've got, I've got my chef licence, so I could be a chef. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, what's the first? I just need that kick off the arse to say, you know, get off the drugs, you can do it. That's what I want. So, what do you want in life? Yeah, to see my family. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Do you have a good relationship with your mum? No. No. I just want to reach out there and find me and hug me. That's all I want. She's from the hospital. Mom, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, if we can get you into this place, are you gonna commit to it? Yeah. Your mum might come and see me then. And I can help you get in touch with your mum as well. Well, yeah. Yeah, of course I will. Can I find my mum now? Yeah. When was the last time you spoke to your mum? About a year ago. Why do you want to put it on? Because I'm missing her. Hiya, Mum, you all right? Yeah. How are you? Fine. 
Um, you're gonna come and see me, Mum? Well, I'm maybe going to rehab. The longest I've been on crack, 28 months. Yeah, and then my mum died, so I ended up back on it. To block all the memories. I should be taking advantage of any single kind of help I could get. But I can't even keep a doctor's appointment because my head is just focused on crack, 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 crack. It's getting worse and worse. And to be honest with you, I think she'll roll. Need a bomb dropping on it. <laughs> <laughs> 